We saw quite a few power struggles in this episode. Jimmy continued his with Kim, Lalo began his with Nacho and Gus, and Werner seemed to run away from his. But is that really what Werner did? Hey, I'm G, and this is the G-Spot. Celebrating with pancakes was good times until Jimmy started talking like him and Kim were partners. He tries to argue that they're on level ground now that she has pulled him in for a con of her own. But Kim has no problem putting Jimmy back in his place, emphasizing that she doesn't see them as the same. And she does all of this without saying a word. Jimmy was devastated when Kim told him that they would not be sharing an office together. But Jimmy kept this devastation to himself. He pretended like he was okay with everything while he continued to hope that they would still end up sharing an office together. He continued to look for an office for the two of them until the Hugh Babineau affair occurred. And once that happened, something changed inside of Jimmy. And in this episode, we found out what the change was. Jimmy gave up on the idea of sharing an office with Kim when he noticed the way Kim was looking at him with such pity. Ever since Jimmy did not react to Chuck's letter, Kim has been looking at Jimmy with pity. There are several scenes throughout this season that you can see this look on her face. And even though Jimmy has noticed this, like his disappointment over not sharing an office, he's kept this to himself. But after the bad news from his hearing, he can no longer hold it in and he calls Kim out for looking at him like slipping Jimmy. This is a big moment in their argument. Kim's response gets to the heart of of what's been causing the separation in their relationship this entire season. Jimmy's problem is his lack of reaction to Chuck's death. It is why the board did not reinstate him, and it's why Kim has been pulling away from him and has been looking at him like slipping Jimmy. Jimmy actually loses this argument. It happens when he says, kick a man when he's down, and it actually shows us that there is truth to the mug that Kim is preparing for him, Jimmy truly is second best to Kim. They start to make up in the last scene we get of the two of them, but I'm not really sure there was actually any progress in their relationship. It seemed to be more like a toxic circle that they started over again. This is probably like the sweetest scene I've ever seen on Better Call Saul. And it lets us know that Lalo is sentimental and has a good memory as we see him regale the past with Hector. These two things about Lalo are going to give us some insight on his meeting with Gus. But it's in the details of the story he shares with Hector that we find out what Lalo has planned for Nacho. Lalo talks about how Hector played with and took his time with a man who turned his back on him. And this is what Lalo plans on doing with Nacho. This is reinforced for us at the end of this scene when Lalo exits and delivers the line that it's the same old Hector and he wants to kill everybody. When Lalo sits down with Gus, he teases Gus about making a move on Don Eladio, saying that they do all the work while he gets fat. This is significant because this is the same argument Gus presented in the episode Armanos from Breaking Bad when Gus and his brother met with the Don, trying to convince him that he'd be better off selling their methamphetamine instead of being a middleman for the Colombian's cocaine. Lalo is letting Gus know that he knows what was on his mind back then, and he knows that the same plan is still on Gus's mind. Lalo can see Gus's long-term plans. Did Werner escape from his power struggle. We see that he wants to go home to Germany and Mike tells him no. And then Werner escapes. So we see that he escaped, but the question is, is did he escape his struggle? Which means the question is, is what was Werner's struggle? Was Werner's real power struggle with Mike or was it whatever the hell he was struggling against here, it seems like Werner was suffering more from normal anxiety. It seemed like he thought something else was in the room with him. At this point, he's looking to see something that isn't really there. Werner's real struggle may actually be against his own mind, which is impossible for him to escape. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please feel free to like and share it if you did. I will be posting another video on this episode, analyzing the theme of the episode later in the week. If you wanna be sure to know when I upload it, go ahead, subscribe and ding the bell and you will be alerted every time I upload a video. And if you've just started watching my videos, I have been covering Better Call Saul all season. I have a whole playlist of the themes of each episode. If you've never seen me cover one of the Gene openings, it's a video I highly recommend. The, G the Gene openings are huge for every season. They give us a lot of information. It's a really fun part of the show. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>